Hi Aquarius, welcome to the Lilac Room. Lilac here. We're going to do a tarot card reading for the month of April 2022 for your sign. Um, I'm looking at some notes I have over here for Aquarius because <clears throat> when I did the um, universal reading for the month of April and then followed it up with the Emperor reading, I saw some things in that reading and I said, well, we'll look closer at that during the monthly, you know, reading for your sign. So I just want to be mindful to hopefully circle back to those messages. And um, yeah, please check out that universal reading and the Emperor's um, All Signs reading that I did earlier today. There are There's information there for everybody, for all the signs. I'm working from home tonight because I have the flu. All right, Aquarius, I'm going to leave some information on how to get a private reading or buy any of my products or get a Reiki session with me um, down in the description box. And off we go. The reason I did the Emperor reading for all signs was that the end of the month of April um, showed up the Emperor card. And I wanted to have a better idea of why that Emperor was coming up for each of the different signs. Now I've already turned over the Emperor card for you and the Justice card, which came up, I think, also in the reading, the first reading, and um, the Judgment card was the reason that I wanted to get clarification. So let's see if that one turns up. Yep, ending the month with the judgment card, okay? Sorry, that was kind of quick. So, a lot of heavy energies here, Aquarius. I feel like April's hitting you the hardest of all the signs, I mean, I'm just speculating, but I feel like you put yourself out there. This is just intuitive. I'm not getting this from the cards. I feel like you put yourself out there on a limb. You were pretty sure you had it right. Um, wow, that's so weird. Okay, so here's what I actually channeled for you. I'm reading it off the paper. Aquarius, there's more to life than just being right all the time and the judgment card and I literally just was saying to you I feel like you were really sure that you got it right but a mistake was made okay you didn't get it right um it's just weird like that's what I'm getting intuitively and earlier like this was hours ago that I did these channeled messages and I wrote them down um <clears throat> so with this channeled message in mind your reading is supposed to center around answering for why this was what I got. There's more to life than just being right all the time. Um, you know, I think everybody's got to grow up a little bit in April, and they are going to. I think the energies in April are forcing us to recognize the people around us and what their real needs are and who we're really dealing with and what's really actually happening. There's a lot of um, hidden agendas, hidden energies, hidden intentions, um, and just hidden information. And you, if we go bullheadedly forward and just insist that we're right, we're missing very important pieces. Um, it causes pain and suffering to others. I'm not saying you did that. I'm just speaking generally. So I feel like the, the warning, the, um, the con making a conscious effort to acknowledge and understand that there may be more to situations than you are aware of. All right, so that being said, let's take a, I'm amused. My dog is like rah, 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 gnawing on his little, his little uh, rope. <laughs> so you're starting off and finishing the month of April with two very strong cards. And in, be in between, you have major arcana everywhere. Some are upright, some are in reversed. 
I got you coming in strong with the Ten of Swords and exiting the month with judgment. There's a devil in reverse, a magician in reverse, the emperor upright, justice upright, the hierophant in reverse, the sun in reverse, judgment upright. Those, I just named all the major arcana on the table. That's a lot of major cards. Um, so, you know, Aquarius, if you don't come through this, whoever whoever's watching this video as an Aquarius, if you don't come through this stronger and wiser and having better judgments about things, then the lesson will repeat. Okay? It will. But the opportunity is here. Um, but I think you're going to be shocked. I think you're going to be shocked to learn that you were not correct about a situation. Um, so Ten of Swords. Yeah, you got really entangled in a, in a thing. And it looks like either you became this King of Cups or you got engaged in a dispute with the King of Cups. <clears throat> and the King could be a woman, um, doesn't have to be a man, or it could be a situation, but whatever the case is, there were sharp words and high emotions. And then the Devil in Reverse and the Magician in Reverse, like nothing got resolved and nobody won basically. And these are not minor energies. These are not like five of swords, six. Of, no, the universe wanted me to see the importance of this by indicating it through the devil reversed, the magician reversed. They gave me everything. They gave me a 10, a king and two major cards. Okay. And what that tells me is that this is not a little issue. It's a serious issue. One that you should have been giving a little more thought to perhaps, or other parties should have been giving a little more thought to something that is significant, something that could change someone's course quite strongly. Um, by mid-April, the Ten of Swords is calmed down to an Eight of Swords, but that King of Cups has ramped up to the Emperor. All right, the Emperor is a dominant character. The emperor is going to call the shots. So somebody is the emperor and somebody is calling the shots. They have the power and the power resides with them. So we're not going to say, oh, this one won and this one lost. But clearly there's a winner and a not winner. Okay. Um, two of wands is in reverse. Can't really see the way forward. And here's this justice and another king, king of pentacles. This time he's upright. Everybody's standing their ground and in a way it is like having justice. The cord of justice is cut. Judgment is coming at the end of the month. Um, the only way to really be sure if you're sizing up a situation or a person correctly is to give it time. It comes to mind about Abraham Lincoln and the fact that he used to be pretty hot headed. Um, you know, he really loves a good argument, a debate. He always loved it. But you know when he stopped loving it? When he became the fucking president of the United States. At that point, he realized that I don't have the luxury of always being right. It doesn't pay to always be right. Sometimes you just need to be kind. Sometimes you need to understand. Sometimes you need to forfeit your position entirely. I don't know why you need to hear this, but you do, apparently. <clears throat> I'm not angry with Aquariuses. I know that sounds a little intense, but Spirit is just wants me to like bring this. These are strong elements. And if it's not you, that needs to hear this like tone from me, I guess. Maybe it's someone in your life and you are like hearing it and saying, yeah, Lilac, that's what's going on. This other person is wrong. They're gonna understand in time, they're gonna realize. Everybody's Everybody on two different sides is always gonna think they're the right one. So again, in time, either if, if one is right and one is wrong, it'll pan out, if one's it, it's not a matter of right and wrong. I'm telling you right now. That's the, that's the issue here. I think that's where judgment is trying to explain itself. I think judgment is trying to explain itself, Aquarius, or whomever is watching this video, by saying, 
You thought you had justice. You thought you were the emperor. You thought your ten of swords, your eight of swords were going to penetrate the minds, the hearts, the thoughts, the behaviors of others. But the truth is, it has nothing to do with you. Step aside. Let it be. Yeah, coming into the end of the month, you've got the Hierophant in reverse. So the Hierophant and Emperor, very similar types of energy. The Hierophant is, is completely upside down and in reverse. Everything that seemed like it was supposed to be stabilizing is not. Also, the Sun is in reverse. The only thing that's left is judgment. Everything has been wiped off the board, guys. Somebody Someone toppled the table. One minute you guys are playing a game and all the pieces are out and everybody's behaving with an, uh, you know, with some decorum. And the next thing you know, the tables got tipped. Reactive. So someone was reactive. Nobody wins. Nobody wins. Game over. Let's get you a, um, an Oracle card. See if it gives any clarity. All right. You got the number 20, home. You may find that someone is pushing you to the limit, forcing you to become more protective of your home and family. For reasons of security, you may find it nece necessary to move yourself and your family to another location. Follow your inter intuition. All will be well. Okay. So... Now you know what that could be about. It could be about the stability of home. I mean, it's obviously something close and personal because it's evoking a lot of emotions, a lot of personal differences between parties perhaps or just even maybe within oneself. So I hope that you are well, Aquarius. And if you want a private reading to look at how these things are actually affecting your life or someone else's life that you know about, um, you know how to reach me. Namaste.